Hi everyone, for Subhanahu wa Ta'ala with you. Uh, today, uh, our main subject is about uh, adsorption uh, cooling system. Uh, we demonstrated that before, but uh, with respect to solar energy as a main heat source uh, for the generator or uh, bid reactor. And in this cycle, uh, first of all, after you, after you uh, download your uh, model, copy it in, into your mo uh, main working folder and open MATLAB. Then, uh, from MATLAB, go to your, uh, your uh, simulation uh, or destination uh, folder. Uh, set your path from here. This is your main working folder. This is my main working folder. So I have to go here and click in on this one for and sort by name and uh, a group by type. So you will find your uh, proper files are here. And we have here also uh, saturated uh, water and uh, thermophysical properties. And super heat table for water because we are going to use silica gel water system. Uh, so suppose I just double clicking or uh, drag and drop, you will find your uh, your main table. This is saturated liquid and saturated vapor, so you can use this as well. Okay, this is our main system. Double clicking. Okay, uh, our system uh, mainly consists of uh, evaporator, a bed reactor. Uh, and uh, uh, a condenser uh, for condensation purposes. Um, this cycle uh, is going to use a silica gel as an adsorbent uh, in bed reactor and we have water as a refrigerant under a vacuum. Okay, uh, let's go inside here and double clicking first. Uh, okay, I, I need to set my, uh, my input parameters. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, this this is our main uh, main uh, uh, input or control panel. Uh, we have here uh, design operating conditions for evaporator. Suppose I need uh, uh, 10 degrees Celsius for evaporator. Okay, and we have here condenser unit, maybe uh, 45 degrees Celsius for co condensation. And this is lower pressure, and this is high, high pressure. And we have here uh, uh, LED cooling uh, temperature to the uh, condenser because it's a, it's water cooling system. Suppose I need to cool cool the condenser down by 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, and we have here refrigerant load or chiller water because I propose that we have chiller water uh, should be cooled down by uh, the evaporator. So suppose I have, uh, we need uh, uh, 5 kilowatts, okay, you can change this dynamically if you would like. And what is your uh, uh, LED hot water from uh, coming uh, from the cellar? Uh, suppose it's uh, 65 degrees Celsius or 30 degrees Celsius, it's up to your design. And we would like to cool it down uh, up to, down to uh, 20 degrees Celsius, okay. And we have a uh, generator temperature. This is uh, the main source of heat. It's, uh, it is not an energy, it is uh, just uh, temperature. So suppose I need uh, 130 degrees Celsius. We're just examining our results. Okay, for design, we can, uh, for evaporator, we can choose some uh, 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 design aspects such as coil diameter and and uh, material of your coil and uh, this is i think for rubber okay for uh, chilled water water duct what is your duct diameter it, is it circular or square you can add more types if you would like you can add more types for condenser uh, what is your uh, tubes diameter for reactor uh, for silica gel we need uh, what is your density of silica gel and uh, bit tank diameter? This is based on your design. You can change this uh, if you would like. Uh, uh, bit reactor effectiveness because there is um, such kind of uh, or some kind of heat transfer coefficient and uh, condenser effectiveness as well. Hit apply. Okay. Suppose this is uh, our main model. Okay. 
Okay, let's go inside and see. Suppose I uh, saving first, go inside. Okay, this is our main uh, uh, components: evaporator, build reactor, condenser, expansion valve. If you would like to use. Uh, let's go here. Set your simulation time into zero. Saving and let's set run and see. Okay, we are uh, okay. Okay, uh, under such uh, uh, operating conditions, let's see our results. Um, uh, surely you can. I forget to to inform you that you can change the limitation. Just one click, right click on your main block, and go into the mask and uh, edit mask you choose parameters and dialogue so you can change your uh, limitation from here this is my uh, uh, generator heat source for example the, uh, the uh, generation term uh, generator temperature you can change as uh, a limitation suppose i need just uh, 200 okay as a maximum so you can change your limitation for or ranges from uh, minimum uh, to uh, maximum okay we have here uh, surely after you can double clicking on each block and you can you will find your code here so you can uh, use it you can copy it you can reform the, these are your uh, outputs and these are your inputs so you can add more units semicolon and type your uh, parameters that you would like to uh, use okay and uh, savings okay uh, this is our main output so you can uh, for evaporator this is uh, our refrigerant uh, mass flow rate this is our refrigerant mass flow rate which is uh, supposed to be recycled through the or uh, flow uh, through the cycle and this is our mass flow rate of, of the water refrigerant through the cycle and uh, the range factor almost zero because we uh, almost zero because this is a negative slope on TS diagram. Uh, evaporation uh, power we set this one. We we almost set this one because this is a load uh, coming from the chiller, okay. And uh, this is area and uh, tube lenses. Tube lens. Uh, we have here a flow velocity through the, the duct or the channel. Uh, chilled water mass flow rate, uh, chilled water uh, bumping power, okay, and uh, your if, uh, evaporator effectiveness. You can increase this or decrease it based on your uh, design temperature because this one is uh, changing. If you would like to inspect this one in data inspector, you have to write the just double clicking and uh, I'm sorry, efficiency of evaporator uh, okay and then we have to click here and to send data to uh, or send this signal to data inspector or going here and click this one any of them can work okay okay let's go for a bed reactor uh, we these are your inputs as you can see here these are your input efficiency uh, install the inlet, uh, condenser temperature, uh, evaporator temperature, generation temp generator temperature, uh, high pressure and low pressure as a function of condenser and evaporator because this is your lookup table. You, if you double clicking here, you'll find uh, your input. This is your pressure results table data, and and this is your break points which is uh, 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 which are your temperature uh, uh, material of your the silica zip density okay and bed diameter let's go here and speak okay this this is your output in salvi this is your output in salvi because it's um, it is a superheated uh, region and uh, superheat temperature it's almost 106 degrees celsius and your pressure would be as a, your condenser uh, pressure. Uh, this, is, this is your pressure ratio, uh, uh, bid uh, thermal power, and uh, total bid volume. Okay, as you can see, total bid volume, uh, refrigerant mass. This is your refrigerant mass, and uh, silica gel mass. Okay, and 
uh, height you can change the height and uh, bid height it's up to your design you can if you change the diameter you will you would change the height so if you come here double clicking go to the bit and suppose this is a diameter of the uh, suppose it's circular or something like this point three you will uh, increase your bid height as you can see nearly one meter and this is concentration between a kilogram of uh, refrigerant over kilogram of uh, uh, silica gel okay and uh, let's go for the condenser unit we have here uh, let's emphasize a little bit this is uh, um, uh, suppose it's a, a water tank so this is my main tank temperature uh, thermal power of the condenser uh, tank volume uh, tank mass and uh, outlet cooling water temperature remember that we uh, our condensation condenser temperature yes only cooling was 25 and uh, it rise up up to uh, 41 degrees Celsius for cooling and uh, mass flow rate of the co cooling system uh, water velocity and uh, bumping power uh, and so on condenser area and so on so this is our main uh, uh, temperature suppose I need to uh, to change this uh, uh, dynamically you have to uh, set my simu your simulation time into infinity okay and saving uh, let's go here double clicking returning back again okay suppose I I need to change uh, power and any uh, specific parameter I would like to uh, utilize and use uh, you can go in here okay and okay run and I would like to change this uh, uh, um, instant okay here uh, instant we can change this as you, as you can see here suppose I need to increase the cooling load uh, just uh, one click and move your cursors uh, or arrows left or right as you can see because the range, ranges are too high uh, condenser temperature suppose I would like to decrease a little bit let's go for uh, uh, 35 for example uh, it has an effect on uh, COP and uh, specific cooling power okay and suppose I need to uh, uh, let's go for a generator I would like to decrease it a little bit suppose I am decreasing the generator down to 90 degrees Celsius something like this okay and hit to stop uh, just an uh, a demonstration okay okay saving let's go here in data inspector and try to uh, discover uh, our results okay as you can realize here okay you can realize your changes on flow rate or uh, uh, thermal power or uh, this is a ma the massive effect of thermal power uh, cooling temperature, cooling mass flow rate, uh, superheat temperature varying, uh, pressure ratio, and uh, uh, this is a concentration. Okay, uh, okay, tank thermal power of condenser, uh, and so on. So we can uh, we can change our uh, inputs in order to realize your uh, outputs. Let's go here. I would like to change the range of uh, the power thermal power because the range is uh, relatively high with my uh, yes the load this load i would like to reduce this one uh, down to one thousand uh, or one hundred one thousand is enough one hundred maybe uh, this is quite uh, good I'm sorry, so I have to. Uh, this is this one is five. 
okay in order to feel the ranges so uh, in order to feel the ranges better than this okay suppose i would like to change this dynamically or automatically i just give you one example uh, I, i'll give you one example saving uh, this one uh, i already prepared this one is dynamic model let's go here I, i will close this one i close this one okay and suppose i need to uh, let's see change our ranges from the load this one uh, let it be 100 kilowatt of power okay okay for for this one i i, I would like to uh, control my cycle automatically without any interfere from my um, manual controller okay so i i would like to set my temperatures and uh, load automatically as measured from uh, the system uh, for example i need to control this one uh, generation temperature or generator temperature automatically so therefore i will give it uh, uh, a source from here okay i will give it one a source for this one and i will uh, terminate my uh, manual controller by using for the sink I use a uh, terminator I will show you this one how to do this let's go here uh, I suppose I need to do this with the load okay I will terminate the load from manual just click here control X and move it away and let's go here uh, drag and drop terminator so I would like to uh, I'm um, uh, currently terminating uh, manual uh, controller and going here for the source and give it another uh, uh, input and I will name it as load in kilowatt okay so this is a uh, load controller let's go outside here you will realize that we have here this one is um, for T generation and this one for uh, load you can just click here mask and we can use this one in order to see uh, this is temperature and this is load so let's go inside our uh, signal builder uh, I created um, uh, this is a variation of uh, T generation along the cycle upside down upside down okay and let's go for another uh, signal new one a new uh, signal okay and I will rename it as uh, just click here and uh, load uh, I'm sorry load for uh, kilowatt okay so suppose I, I have a, a variable load um, along the time suppose I need uh, uh, at the beginning uh, just one click here and hold shift and, and click so you can create uh, nodes or, or points at a specific time okay and suppose I have different values of power you can change just uh, you can just change this one uh, by entering your value suppose at zero at zero time I need uh, uh, maybe uh, 20 kilowatts okay and at, at this period I need uh, 25 okay and the rest you can change this uh, by your hands freehand okay uh, let's go down again uh, this is load varying um, this is chiller load okay okay I let it be upside down again okay and let's go up up okay from here you can uh, use your this one okay and saving okay close this one so we have here load so I, I would like to connect this uh, here okay adjust our uh, we can name rename this group by uh, parameters 
and um, uh, we can do this for uh, condenser temperature, for evaporative temperature, for chiller. You can add, add, and more, more, and more uh, signals. Uh, my simulation time. Click here, and uh, is it, is it? Uh, yes, it is from uh, zero to uh, ten seconds. You can change the time if you like. Uh, now I, I, I intended to hit run and, and see my result varying. Uh, through the data inspector, I forget to add this one. Uh, effectiveness, uh, okay. Effectiveness of evaporator, and send it to uh, data inspector. Saving, okay. Okay. Uh, now uh, I. Uh, you can. Uh, there is no change here. I, I, I'm sorry. There is no effect. On uh, load, on, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, was yes. This is uh, temperature, generator temperature, and the load. There is no effect. Actually, there is no effect because I disconnected uh, uh, my signal from this one and this one. Okay. Let's hit run and see. Okay, hitting run. Okay, finished. Ten seconds. Uh, it's quite fast. Okay, and we can compare our results. This is old, old run. Okay. Uh, suppose I, you can add more slots if you like. Okay. This is my mass flow rate. Suppose I need to discover uh, the varying of uh, mass flow rate. I'm sorry. Clicking here. Okay. And this is a uh, steam quality, for example. I'm sorry, I have to check again. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, I'm sorry, because the limitation of uh, of the graph, I have to delete all. Okay, delete all and uh, and run it, run it back again. Okay, run. Because X, X is the re direction, X ranges are quite uh, uh, low. Uh, okay, let's go. This is mass flow rate along one second. According to temperature and the effect of uh, load, you can manage one effect if you would like. Uh, steam quality varying, uh, evaporator, thermal power uh, area. Let's go for mass flow rate of. Uh, cooling water okay and then this one is power uh, we can add the uh, evaporator effectiveness change a little bit and salby changing superheat temperature changing uh, this is zero because I I, 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 I shut down my uh, my system at these points if you return back to the uh, let's return back here for the signal. You realize this at this point. This point is um, 30 degrees Celsius, and we have condenser uh, temperatures uh, maybe uh, 45. There, at this point, there is no uh, uh, cooling because the system is shut off. Okay, so let's go back. Data inspector, okay, and uh, we can discover his line is this is X percentage at this point. We have here no, uh, no system, the system is not uh, working, and uh, many, many parameters you can. What is your tank mass? Uh, okay, I think tank volume, specific uh, cooling power, and so on. Um, so I, I just showed you how to control your system and how to uh, utilize your uh, 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 variation of your inputs in order to uh, extract your outputs. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in, uh, interest in our model. And don't forget to uh, like, uh, share uh, and subscribe. Thank you very much.